Oh yeah. So I'm gonna speak to you today about why you can't get in Kika Club. Well, the official story is that it's a clothing, it's a fetish gear, it's all that. Well, that's the official story. There's a few other factors I will discuss in this video and I will show you that looks is only half of the, the whole aspect. So first of all, Kit Kat Club is a fetish, kink, techno sex club, basically. There will be people that will have sex in the club. Okay, you tell me, so what's with this? This happens all over the world, or at least the Western world. Well, you have to dress appropriately. You have to dress uh, mainly in leather or in sexy clothes, especially for women, but also for men. You have to have this uh, BDSM kink uh, uh, got kind of look, in a way. You have to. Or you don't have to. I think it's not compulsory. Basically, it's also about how you behave in the queue. They prefer, first of all, to have people in the club that are not very agitated. That they, if you speak a lot in the queue, if you're very agitated, very motivated, you won't get in. If you're more quiet, more reserved in the queue, and having the right kind of fetish gear, will assure you that you will get in, because they will think, okay, this person is used to what's happening in the club, it's not going to shock him, and first of all, he's not agitated, we're not going to have to chase him around the club to get him out. So let's work for the bouncers, okay? It's very important to keep this in mind because they really don't want to have too much to handle in the club. Another factor you have to take into account is that if the club is full or if the club is empty, if it's a night and let's say the weather's bad and you don't have a lot of people going in, the conditions for entry will be more lax, more relaxed, isn't it? Because they, in the end they want to fill in the club and they want to make money from this. It's the main objective. The other is like uh, yara yara yara, you know, like uh, you don't have fetish here or whatever. When it's empty you get in. Second of all, you would uh, have to not be super drunk. If you're extremely drunk, or if it's visible that you're drunk or you're incoherent, or you're not acting reasonable or logical, you will not get in. Also the same with the, if you're super high and nobody can speak to you, you will not get in. It's also about the attitude. If you have the attitude, okay, I belong in this place, then you will most likely get in. Even if the, if the clothes are like, uh, say, not 100% king fetish, you will get in. Because they're not looking for uh, individuals that uh, display, uh, let's say, fashion, catwalk kind of style. They don't, they're not looking for that. They're looking for people who, first of all, will not get shocked about what they see inside. Second of all, they're wearing clothes appropriate to the team or they want to be appropriate to the team even if they even, even, even if they for example don't have uh, the exact precise clothing they kind of match the colors they kind of match the style so it's fine you will get in and first of all they're looking for people who are going to spend money inside because it costs money, it costs more than you would buy it from the supermarket. And if unfortunately you look extremely poor, then you will not get in. Again, the club is a techno, pink fetish, sex club, basically. So it's about also the looks. If you are incredibly unattractive, let's say, 
let's put it mildly, if you're really, really unattractive, then your chances are that you will not get in. For men and for women. If, for example, a girl doesn't have a sexy top, because inside, men will have to be uh, topless, and uh, let's say women have to be either in a sexy blouse or a sexy bra or topless. So if you don't have these attires, if, if you are not willing to comply, again you're going to be refused. I've seen, like I've been with a group of people over there, tourists, and there was this lady from the UK and she had a, let's say, a kind of a top small sweater which was not really that sexy, it was something like more that you could wear casual on the street. She was not let in. She was not let in because they told her in the face that her top is not sexy enough. And she kind of had a little fit over there and then she just said, okay fine, I'm just going back to, the, to my accommodation. And that's it. Honestly, listen, read the guidelines of what you need to wear and follow them, not to the letter, but in the spirit of the law, if you understand, in the spirit of the law. And if you also are not extremely super excited when you are in the queue and chatting up every girl or every guy in the queue, and you're also not extremely drunk, and you're also not extremely unattractive, you have a chance of getting in. And there are different theme parties every day of the week. I advise you, go on Mondays, Sundays or Mondays. You have the best chance to get in, because on Thursday or Wednesdays or Fridays, there's a lot of, let's say, theme parties. Okay, those are the wildest ones, but in the end, it's harder to get in. You need all that kind of King BDS BDSM fetish attire. Well, I hope this helped you out and uh, give a like to the video, subscribe, click the notification bell if it really is what you're looking for. And yeah, so far so good. So what?